What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back. Not for broadcast. It was a fun time yesterday. Going through a little uh, snafu. Running the news. Doing all kinds of fun stuff. And we're going to hop on into the next chapter in the game. Let's go. Looks like it's looks like it's Stallman outside. Shenanigans, tomfoolery. No. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky over you? I don't know why I'm talking to you. The problem is really good from the Ten seconds, everybody. There we go. Showtime, everybody. Did your personality? All right, we're going live, everyone. We're going live. By the way, this is not uh, an actual TV show. This is all actors. These are all scenes made by the video game developers. Oh, we got co-anchors. Oh. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking okay. what this mysterious okay. symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking approval, all right, everything's going up. The top the there, that little bar, that uh, means that we're doing okay. And what would that mean as we go into the future? A house Boom! Landing right on the chair. Beautiful. The lady. Embittered doctors Ingrid Sforsborg and Borgensford and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options to end the growing tension. Since Boom. Two opposing camps on day four, so far, this broadcast is looking real good, you know what I'm saying, bro? Between the factions and their leaders have only worsened. <laughs> Operations, <laughs> Operation Arms Race. What they're calling shanks of deterrence. While Dr. Sforsborg and Horgan's Ward claims to have fashioned a deadly toxin for the tips of her group's spears. I certainly wouldn't want to knock over their test tubes, Jeremy. <laughs> Labuff avoided, as the last Mr. Snugbox is found and destroyed. We ask, how could we have been so blind? Fortunately, this station wisely chose not to advertise Mr. Snugglehugs. Wisely. But we would have, they would have paid us more money. Miracle, as only seven children were horribly injured by the lethal toy. Jesus. How much worse could it have been? Thankfully, we never know. <laughs> what? This is a little teddy bear on fire? Billy, what did you do? Said today that the new advance mark, which must be earned by all new products, will be a 100% ironclad guarantee of safety and quality. Okay. Fallen Angel, notorious addict Johnny Hansleeve seems to have reached a new low. A new low. Okay. recent picture of Johnny's star certainly lacks its former glow these days, with public concern sure. over his Rehab mental clinic. and physical okay. health. Okay, he's going to get help. Let's hope that the team at the Gentle Touch is trying to get help. You know, can help Johnny get back to his former glory. Johnny's family have asked for privacy during this difficult time. We'll have reporters at the clinic around the clock, so you don't miss it. Is this one celebrated role? That wind outside is starting to get a little like it's getting pretty fierce. And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Remington's Fist CEO Sophia Remington today announced a brand new product that already has the markets buzzing with interest. Buzzing with interest. Oh. It was quite a shock when it was revealed earlier today. Though its critics are skeptical that the young CEO can fulfill her promises. Oh. Described as a breakthrough far ahead of its time. First male contraceptive, male contraceptive pill. Whoa. Pill Whoa. Whoa. Its fans I'm totally for it. As long as it's a pill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? But others have expressed concerns over its safety. Take a pill, have no babies on the man's side? That That's what's up. Interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon live at the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's. National Lightning News. Oh, knocking out of the park. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a new intro now. We have a new intro with the lady. Oh, God. Interference coming through. Coming in. Coming in hot. No, 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 no. We're good. We're fine. That was a rough one right there. But first tonight, 
while advance is certainly proving popular with the majority of the country, oh, who've oh, seen oh. their wealth and standards of living increase considerably, for some, the transition has not been as pleasant. That's right, Megan. The formerly aristocratic members of our society have had to make major adjustments to come to terms with the new regime. Robin Short is in suburbia investigating rumours that these previously privileged people may be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Boom. Thanks, Megan. I'm here in moderate hatching to talk to Gwen Clark and Penelope Somerset Bentley, who were I got it, I got it. Me Ooh, that's a tight squeeze right there, kid. Tell me, how are you settling into your new lives? Well, quite frankly, Robin, we're not settling in at all. Our neighbours are white waters. Simply white waters? Excuse I hope me? I forgive my language, but it's as steaming as a Wednesday hatch basket with too much spatting. Get in now, Penelope. Sorry, Robin, my sister's under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> this morning, ah. still hasn't quite recovered. Marriage. My goodness, that must have been quite a shock. She really struggles with women's Robin. <laughs> well, at least you've been rehoused. <laughs> Do you have the wing? <laughs> The breakfast room in the dining room. And love. Poo love. Your family has had it far too easy for far too long. And that these redistributions are both fair and just. I hardly think we've had it easy for fussel's sake. Only one of our swimming pools was even heated. But realistically, what can you do? Well, you've asked the right bloody question, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I think our toilet butler was from Swinstead. Dear George, oh, I wonder what happened to him. He <gasps> still scrubbing the toilet and say. Daddy tried to shoot him in the buttocks and he ran off into the woods. I gotcha, I gotcha their interference. We're all good. Tragic, but what can you do? We will wise and rebel. We will wise and rebel. <laughs> this means war, you wascally wabbit. Ha 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 What is happening in this broadcast? It's gone downhill real quick. <laughs> yeah, you dirty mouth lady. <laughs> whoa, 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 watch it with the gat. All right, we're, go I think we're going back. We're going back. Everyone, three seconds. Or five seconds. Oh my god. Speak for yourself there, Jeremy, but I've seen enough shaft work to last me a lifetime. I'm sure you have. But uh, can a naked protest movement ever really catch on? It doesn't seem like the way we do things in this country. But as I'm sure you're aware, Jeremy, this country is becoming a very different place. Yes, but seriously, who's going to run around naked in our weather? Well, hopefully not you, Jeremy. Yes, well, there wouldn't not be enough you, canvas for the slogans. <laughs> When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. Boom. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm busting. <laughs> Woo! All right, so, first segment done. New co-anchor, killing it. Knocking out of the park. We saw a couple half-naked people with some slogans, some gunfire. Alex, over. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Okay. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. Bozeman out. Says, says you, to be honest with you, bro. I think it's going to be a top 
top grade, top grade broadcast. We gotta have an investment in. The best screws in town. It's really, really weird. It's very awkward when you're trying to go back and forth between the different scenes and you're just winging it, man. You can tell that this is just winging it. We got people who are destitute. They used to be rich. Now they're, and I say poor. I mean, I, I got like, finger, I got qu air quotes, poor. And they're not fans of it. As they shouldn't be. But I will see what we can. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hat line. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's nothing wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt a drip again. Have they not fixed this? It's a fine. bad storm outside. Bad storm. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's all right. ripping the All right, so we got to watch out. Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You, you got to watch out for Fanny Bits. First annual sports board championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other. Here we go. Here we go. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot riding on this. The more experienced of our two players today. Striker has got an accuracy of seven, a danger rate of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Striker's known for a signature move for the lanky hamster. The lanky hamster. Facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. The winner himself, Tommy, the finger now, Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The clapping ceremony is taking part. Okay. Okay. Well, what what is going on here? What kind of what kind of sport is this? It's a trivia round, as as there should be. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brains. <laughs> Eddie Stryker. Nice start there from Stryker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. I'm kind of missing what's happening here. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Bad shot, bad shot. Back to striker. The shot's number three. All, all right, right, all right, all right. So it's beer pong. Whoa, whoa, we're seeing fannies. Not bad. Saw fanny. Saw fanny. What's good? What's good, homie? Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Okay. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Oh, oh, oh. But what do I know? Oh, he sank it. Oh. This is no good. No good. Changing. No good. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. What? What? What is everyone doing? Striker giving it large. What's up? What's good? You want to go? You want to dance? You want to dance? Oh, we got. We're good. We're good. Well, okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. There we go. Let's get these ratings back. All right, buddy. You got it. You got it. You can sink this. All right. All right, striker. It's the it's the blind it's the blindfold sound. What is happening? What am I watching? I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastery of this play here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there for Tommy Harris. Oh, uh, I don't know what's happening, but he's super duper angry. Striker's killing it. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. 
halftime show. Aye. Half time show. Here we go. Okay, another cross poke to the the court here. We don't apologize for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. We're good. We're good. Uh, Fanny bits. Here, not, in uh, not in here. Not in here. We're dancing. We're dancing. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. He's thrusting himself. In, uh, we're, thrusting himself. we're good. Uh, and the bucket is not going back. I cannot stand it for the bucket. It's knocked over. Uh, oh, oh they knocked down. over the trash can. Okay, okay, we gotta flip back and forth. Can't, can't knock off the headband, not the illustrious headband. All right, are we, ready? are we back ready to play? Is this happening? Oh, the pose, the pose, strike the pose. But he ain't nasty as me. Makes a lot of hook dog freaky. All right, okay, so, okay. Killing it. I can only imagine how fun this may have been, like to actually shoot this. Just ridiculousness. It's like a high, it's like a high school project. This is an, an extraordinary long newscast. <laughs> We're gonna take you over to the sports ball game. What? Tommy Harris. And it dribbled down his arm, which is actually uh, a really good move, because of course if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Okay, okay. I thought it was meant to go in the bucket. I'm so confused right now. And why are her boobs sweaty? Or is that just the pattern that's on her shirt? That striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course perhaps... And yes, Harris has counted for the tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Oi. Oi. He's just uh, sitting there um, in lament. It's still storming outside. It's pretty rough out there. All right, you got this, buddy. You got this. Ready, set. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good idea. Okay, okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Coming back. Perhaps a little contact caution from Points. the referee. Points. If you ask me, a little bit harsh. All right, striker. You were winning. Looks like you're losing, and I don't know how. Oh. You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like, I mean, it's a mess now. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to be doing about this. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, there's sort of. Uh, uh, Can't you, like, club these kids? Um, Is there security? I mean, there's, only there's worse security um, here than, yeah, at a, yeah, than at a comedy um, club. All right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Uh, the players are. Uh, we got bums everywhere. This is the only shot that doesn't have bums or boobies. These or some uh, weird kind of. Weird kind of. Push your shenanigans. All right, sensor, we're good. Yes, we got it. Yes, very good. Take them away. Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. <laughs> hey, can we go back to the news? He's kind of looking, to be honest with you. Call me. My man. My man's trying to pick him up. I, you know I'm saying? I see, I see what you're trying to do. Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the Whew, final round. So much action. Round. Who could believe it? All right, my man. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. He really could go in there at this point. He's picking up an imaginary ball. I wonder who's in the Hall of Fame of this sport. It must be illustrious. Uh, getting moved back to his proper place. About time, if you ask me. It's an imaginary ball, everybody. I she's, uh, juggling it around from her don't know what's going on. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um, and she spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there. Quite what? Top, what's uh, happening? From striker. But she's in it to win it. On it, like a car on it. All right, we got the bucket. Uh, Tommy Harris here. Tommy Harris. Beat. All right, Tommy. Come on, Tommy Harris, eh? You've got this imaginary and shot. It as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, interesting, interesting. Have any potassium or what's going on today? We have some. Bang! It's a win! The, the victory and the agony of defeat. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Oh, 
Oh, final shot. Final shot. Who's the victor? And the winner of the first annual. Oh, it's the first sports annual sports ball. Oh, sports board. Today. God, I, I hate this. I hate this so much. If you're going to do something imaginary, uh-oh, 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 what's happening? We got a storm outside. Uh. Uh, Extraordinary fight. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can oh so now all of a sudden we're gonna have we're gonna have problems. All right. Fucking microphone shot me. What? Fucking microphone just shot me. Where's that sound guy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. All right. So Everything we got a storm okay? outside. Oh, the mic's lightning must have. Now, lightning must have struck. We we <laughs> lost power there for a second. I thought that was I what we needed down. to do. Apparently that was incorrect. We just have to make sure that we don't. Watchman again. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance that the storm is causing a lot of power surge. So yeah, no. Controls might be a bit. Uh, D. Now I know you're tough and you can take the odd shot for the sake of a perfect news broadcast, but too many in quick succession can stop the old ticker. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. Who's out? Sorry about all these buckets. We uh, seem to have sprung a leak. Well, uh, several, actually. Gonna need a whole new lining up there. Uh, uh, the advertisement's up. Oh, please don't go over that advertisement. I don't want to get fired. Great time to be alive. Bloody right. Peter Clement. Megan Wolf. That's a firm handshake. Uh, no, but it is. <laughs> you need to iron your suit, kid. Iron your suit jacket, kid. Right you are, pet. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> we got some problems. We got problems, everybody. We got problems, but we're going to break through this. We're going to get through this. We got a, The show must go on, everyone. Three. Here we go. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National Nightly News Balances. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't. Ow. We're delighted to... Right as I selected it. Firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? Oh, goodness. No, 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 you definitely shouldn't be worried. Come on. Not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. But, yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. You know... Winches mostly. Many advantages of the new future. I know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative art. I don't even know what's happening. We no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Yes, okay. your office brief does that you have a question to make. Oh, what my goodness. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Nick. Oh, okay, it's not usually how it works. But <laughs> what scares you? I mean, really scares you. Ah, oh, It's death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Jeez. Oh, sorry, are you saying that advanced have cured death? <laughs> but while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less Shoof. and much less Lock on. And much less expensive. No, which is me closer, Karen. Okay. Okay. It's, it's kind of cool. When I was 13, mm -hmm. me ma'am came and got me from school. He was a go to the hospital. Okay. Grander. We collapsed that morning. So we'd all to say our goodbyes. I went in to see him. We were all frail and pale. I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. But he said to me, Peter, he said, Okay, what he said? Right time. I don't ever For what? be a burden to the people I live. Is that the last time you saw him? Nope. 
Three days later, he went back home. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the lounge while... We hey, man. Hey, man. That thing was fine a couple oh, seconds ago. It was awful. Awful for us. And this is the point. It were awful for him. They could see it was okay. destroyed. Oh no. The interference is gonna hit us. We're gonna get hit by interference. Oh. Oh. She didn't want to lose the children. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now no family will have to. Okay, that's good. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centers. The transition center will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical, and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So crap, crap, even crap. the poorest citizen gets to pass on with his dignity when they choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it. People who feel they run their course, don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. Sorry. Are you okay? I, I don't know. I'm sick and You're still on the air, Peter. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you not worried? Coming back. Like, this is a long broadcast. You're killing me here, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Whoa. What's happening here? Look, I am perfectly capable. Okay, and we're finally going down. Don't get yourself sorted out. Right. I don't know where to go. Government information tonight. Should tell your viewers okay. everything they okay. need to know. Okay. You really do move at a breathless pace. It's hard to believe you've yet to be an officer. Thank uh, God. Go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports World Final. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Dalton. You can have a peaceful night. What? <laughs> am I dying? Is this it? Is this a wrap for me? Am I going? Am I going? It's my nephew, so I've been transitioned. Am I dead? Is this is this finally how it happens? Finally, this is how I go. Thank God. To be continued. So, this game is only thirteen dollars on Steam, and it only has three of those episodes. Eventually, they will unlock some more. There will be more releases and more times for you to get electrocuted and see all sorts of, of of faded out bits and all sorts of weird kind of political banter back and forth. And I kind of dig it. So folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit the like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. And I'll check you out right here again. And not for broadcast, next time.